بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين I'm Tariq Madani, Professor of Medicine and Infectious Diseases and Chairman of the Infection Control and Environmental Health Unit. Uh, I just uh, would like to explain what we mean by hand hygiene. Hand hygiene involves either washing your hands with soap and water, antiseptic soap and water, running water, or the use of this uh, hand drop to do what we call waterless hand drop to disinfect your hands. If your hands are not visibly soiled, then what we recommend is that you use the waterless hand drop to disinfect your hands. But if your hands are visibly soiled, you should use antiseptic soap and water. Uh, first, you should make sure that you don't have rings, that your nails are well trimmed, so that they don't harbor any, any dirt underneath. And then what we, we do is just put one or two pumps on your, your hand and rub your hand this way together, palm on palm, to make sure that you cover all surfaces of, of the hands this way. This is called palm on palm. And then palm on dorsum of the left hand, intermingling your fingers to, to clean the whip space. And then the opposite hand, the left hand on the dorsum of the right hand this way, intermingling your finger. So now what we missed is this part, these parts are not yet clean. So what, how we clean them? We do this to, to clean the fingers that have not been covered by the uh, previous maneuvers. And then the tips of fingers are not yet covered. So we do that to cover the tips of the finger. And then the thumbs. And then the rest. This should take about 20 to 30 seconds to complete. So you do that until your hand is completely dry and you've done proper hand hygiene. This hand hygiene should be done before touching any patient and after touching any patient, before doing any procedure and after removing your gloves and after touching any environmental surface uh, around the patient. So you should always make sure that your hands are always properly disinfected after touching any environmental surface, including, say, a patient's uh, tables, a patient's uh, clothes, a patient's uh, linen or keyboard, or anything around the patient should, uh, should, could be a source of infection, and you should disinfect your hands right after uh, touching such surfaces.